Now it isn't just bulbs and buzzers we can connect in series with one another. We can also connect switches in series. And this means that we can create some very useful circuits so with real practical uh, applications. So that's a very simple switch circuit. So let's focus on the switch. Operate the switch, the bulb will light up. And we've seen that circuit diagram lots of times before. So that's the simple switch controlling the lamp. If we want to create a series circuit involving switches, then we've got to join the next switch in that circuit. So this is a series circuit, one switch follows the next switch. So we've got a gap we can create here, look, and we're going to put in another switch or we'll move that whole thing up. Well, it doesn't have to be the same type of switch. It could be our very own design of switch, as, such as a paperclip switch. So here's the bare wires just there. So that's the insulation at either side, bare wires. And now both of these switches become part of our circuit. So let's have a look. Turn the first one on, have a look for no, no effect. So our first switch has been closed, but the lamp can't light up. It must be the fact that the second switch needs to be closed as well. So let's give it a try. And because this has got a springy piece of card, we've got to keep our finger on it to keep it closed. On, off, on, off, on, off. You may want to think, well, what use is that type of circuit? All right, 